Hi, everybody. Russ on the West Ham Network. Hope you're all safe and well, my friends. If you're new around here, welcome. Welcome. Where the hell have you been, though? But thanks for joining us. And please subscribe. Um, hit the bell notification. Share all that good stuff. Give it a bloody good subscribe. Happy Friday. Another week. We've done another week. Well done. Well done. Another week without West Ham as well. Well, without West Ham on the pitch. There's been plenty of speculation and stuff off the pitch. And obviously at, at lunchtime today, I did my Have Your Say Friday where people come on and have their words. The fallout from Declan Rice, um, the interview, um, Moisey, uh, the players have returned back uh, from their um, from their little break for the non-internationals. Um, suppose, you know, the good news about Germany, obviously, not qualifying uh, for the next stage. It means Tilo Kira will be come, coming back early, which is nice. Well, obviously Morocco is still out there, and 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 uh, England and Brazil, so uh, and and France as well, and France as well. Although um, Ariola hasn't had much game time at all um, in Qatar. But anyway, I bring to you the Hammers headlines in association with the KUMB dot com boys. Lots of stuff to talk about as always. Um, let's start with a few. I mean, they're all transfer rumours. That's all that's on at the moment. To be honest, there's no team news or anything. Obviously, although saying that, did you see pictures of Kurt Zuma? Um, reporting for training despite the fact having a knee injury or knee surgery so we'll see what happens but let's talk about uh, Evan Endicka we actually saw him firsthand last season when we played Eintracht Frankfurt in the semi-finals of the Europa League now apparently West Ham are battling Newcastle surprise surprise um Arsenal and Spurs for the January signing of Evan Endicker, who may be available for just under £7 million. Um, he's out of contract in the summer, and I check Frankfurt um, are reluctant to lose him for nothing when his contract expires. So it'll be a cut price deal to get something for nothing. He's, um, he's not signing a new deal with the um, Bundesliga side, by all accounts. Uh, according to Italian news outlet Romagnolo Rosso. IT claim that the hammers of their work cut out this winter. Well, it does if you see the other three play other three teams that we're looking at. Um I mean he would, in all honesty, be one of the perfect January signings for us. Um to be perfectly fair. He's young, he's a fantastic centre back, he's got all the attributes to be a real hit in the Premier League. Um he could well, not quite there, but I think he's more than capable of being a, an elite level defender. Um, he's, I mean, last season, 32 games in the Bundesliga for Eintracht Frankfurt, four goals, four assists, um, averaged almost two tackles a game, one half interceptions, four clearances, one almost four aerial duels, uh, recorded a com- pass completion rate of 83%. It's not bad for a centre back, um, and he's six foot four. He's an absolute beast, um, and totally dominates in the air. He would, it would be ta- a tantalising group of centre backs with him, Zuma, um, Agard, Tito Kira as well in defence. It would be pretty awesome, pretty awesome. He's tailor made for the Premier League, but as I said. We're competing with not just those three clubs in the Premier League, but I imagine some Serie A sides as well will be interested in him. Um, being French, and a, you know, a French player as well, we might have the slight advantage of our little sort of French sort of group in terms of Zuma and and, and uh, Ariola and obviously um, you know, Maxwell Cornet, or Ivy Coast, but uh, he's a French native speaker and. Uh, yeah, Emerson was obviously at Leon last season, and you know Aged was playing in League Art as well. So there's a lot of and and Ben Rama speaks French as well. So there's you know a nice little French contingent there. So maybe, just maybe, we'll see, we'll see. Let's move on. Let's talk about someone who actually wants to come to the club. He actually says he wants to come, and that is FC Basel's ace left back Ricardo Califori. Ricardo Calafiori. That would do. Ricardo Calafiori. He's admitted that it would be his dream to play for either West Ham or Chelsea. The 20-year-old left-back left Roma for Basel uh, in the summer, but it seems as though a move to the Hammers or to Chelsea could be on the cards at some point in the future. He's highly regarded in, in Switzerland, but also in Italy. He's native Italy. He, he seems his heart set on jumping from the Swiss League to the Premier League. Uh, he told another great media outlet, Vocorio La Rosa, 
that joining either West Ham or Chelsea would be a dream move. He said, I quote, I have two images. I really like Chelsea. Uh, that, that I have two I have two images. Going back to Italy, perhaps in Rome, or my dream would be to play in their Premier League. I really like Chelsea or West Ham. He's manifesting it. Um, now, I mean, you know, he's just opening it. He wants to go to Chelsea or West Ham. Chelsea has uh, very much an abundance of left-backs. They've got Ben Chilwell. They've got Cucurella as well. Um, Aaron Cresswell's 33 later this month. Emerson's hardly impressed. And he's not really a left-back. He's more a left-wing-back. Um, so, you know, if you're juggling those two, a move to West Ham may be more likely than Chelsea. Um, he's very raw um, and somewhat of a unknown quantity, to be fair. But he's an incredible talent. He can play left back. He can play left midfield. He can play centre back. So that's the type of you know versatility that someone like Moyes really looks for in a player. So you know he's actually said he wants to play for us. <laughs> the fool. Anyway, and lastly, it's a rumour we've been speaking about recently a while about Michael Keane. Um, and I think it was about 10 million quid. We were, we were looking, you know, there was, there was a price quoted to buy him in January. Apparently, he's set to leave Everton on loan in January um, with him out of favour at Goodison Park. They've got Cody. They've got uh, Tukoski as well. They sort of, those two are sort of set in stone as the starting two. He's 29. And apparently, according to 90 Minutes, it suggested that the Hammers could explore a deal um, to bring him on loan. Um, obviously, with Dawson's future looking uncertain. Angelo's the wrong side of 30 as well. 33, I think. Um, and obviously there was talks of him leaving for Italy, maybe. Um, we've got Zuma's injury as well. It could be slightly, you know, it, it, it might be a shrewd one. I'm not saying he's going to be a starter, but Michael Keane on loan, England international, 29, experience. In the same way we brought Craig Dawson in, and we all, bar we all laughed when Craig Dawson came in. And then he became integral. Maybe it could happen. Apparently, um, the Hammers are understood to be one of eight clubs vying for the Everton man's services. Uh, as I said, it looks like he's, he's going to be leaving in the same way that sort of almost a gentleman's agreement for, for Dawson. Um so maybe January, maybe maybe the loan move could be useful. But maybe the other clubs might look to to purchase him. Leicester and Fulham particularly are two that have been cited who are very much interested. Leicester, I know the um, the, the, the Turkish centre back's been looked at by. Yeah, I think he might be. It's not Real Madrid, but I think it was a La Liga side. So maybe there's a you know they're looking for a direct replacement as well. Who knows? But keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that one as well. And that, that's it today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as I said, happy Friday. Make sure you check out the, the West Ham Network. We do, um, we're do we doing our advent calendar at the moment. Um, we open each door. It's a different player. So we had uh, clips from our interview with Shaka Hislop yesterday, number one. We had Tim Breaker, who's number two. Number three, tomorrow, who's going to be behind the door three? You have to wait and see. Uh, also, uh, we probably will have Irish Tommy on tonight doing a late, late show. Um, great opportunity to come on and have your say. Um and, and talk about all that's happening with, with West Ham. Um, so that's it, my friends. I'll take care, everyone. Stay safe, stay warm, stay healthy, stay positive. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the football. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. That's all for now, my friends. Bye-zy-bye. Bye-bye-bye. <laughs>